Hi everybody, welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg and today we're going to be having a look at the US dollar and specifically we're going to be having a look at the DXY or the US dollar index. Now the US dollar has been on a tear in recent times and this has largely been spurred on because of rising inflation recessionary pressures across the world with the US Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell coming out extremely hawkish and uh, increasing interest rates at a very aggressive pace. And what this has done is brought a lot of more money back into the US dollar as a hedge against inflation and a recession. And this is coming from across the globe. So what we can see as we move over to the charts, and specifically we're gonna have a look at the weekly chart, is that we've really been on this massive increasing or rise in price. And what we can see is that we've had the period, we had this range between 100, about 100, 103 and 89 US dollars. And that was really going almost to the last decade. So we had that for a decade and we recently broke through in June, June, July of this point. And we can also see that this has been co um, consolidated with a break or a golden cross where the 50 week mo moving average crosses over the 200 week moving average. And that's a really bullish sign. The next thing we can see is we've got a lot of market structure at about $120 and that's going back all the way to the early 2000s in 2001 where we hit that and then even before that um, you know in this the 1980s we had that peak at 163 so those are our really real long-term targets as we move into the shorter time frame we look for a potential trade Again, what we can see is that we've basically since July last year been following this 50 day average and that we've bounced off it multiple times, which is a pretty solid signal that we are in a really strong uptrend. So as we just make this a little bit bigger, we're going to bring out our Fibonacci retracement to see potentially where we may be able to get an entry. So as we can see, we've been able to pull back on the excuse me we've been able to recent pullback on the 23 percent average and um, before that we can see we pulled back on the 38 um, percent resistance line so we are respecting the fibonacci levels as i said previously our next target is 120 and we would like to see a retest of this 110 level um 109 rather before we um go through that stage you know we might go like that I'm just going to exit out and as we can see here um, you know reach that 120 level about on just move that to the weekly over there now some of the things to keep in mind before potentially testing this 120 level is if the Fed continues to be hawkish it'll only increase the strength of the US dollar and if the rest of the globe um, goes into a recession, it'll again bring more money into the US dollar. But until then, they expect to see quite a bit of volatility, especially as central banks start to make their mark on interest rates across the world. But it is definitely one to keep an eye on, especially as I said, we are in this very strong uptrend. And until we see a real break, it's definitely um, looking for long opportunities. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.